All right guys, so in this video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish making our navigation bar. We already made a couple buttons on it and now I just wanna add that search form. And actually before I even do, I wanna go ahead and add this. So you see right under this items comment, this entire div section, inside this div are all of the individual items, all the buttons, the forms, whatever. So you actually wanna add the ID and set this equal to whatever this is, top nav bar. So this is all bootstrap, so we don't have to write any of this by hand, but basically what happens is we say, hey, you know whenever you need to display this button because you don't have room for all of these items? Well, look at top nav bar, that's your target, and these are the items that you wanna be collapsing. So basically anything in, inside here is going to be hidden. I guess that's an easy way to look at it. Let me separate these a little bit. All right, so let me just go ahead and make this form real quick. And again, this form isn't gonna work right now because we didn't build any search functionality, but I just wanna make it display and look pretty. So anytime you add a form, just write navbar form, and I just wanna make it float to the left. So navbar left, and after this, this is, can you type Bucky? This is gonna be for searching and the method is gonna be equal to get, and the action, we don't have any for that yet, so we're just making a dead link, and all right. So just basic stuff, we'll plug all of these things in later as we need them. So now, I wanna add that input first, so I actually wanna surround it with div, or form group. And this is just for styling, mostly. And now my input, which is the area the user types text into is type text class form control the name equals Q so later on whatever they type in we need to basically save it to a variable and you can name it query I'm just gonna name mine Q because that's kind of the standard whenever people build searches and the value is whatever it's equal to and we won't have to set this right now so basically whenever we pop open the form it's not going to have any text in it but we'll do something cool with that later on so all right mate it's so looking good now let me just go ahead and make that last button so this is going to be the button they press to actually search or submit the form so it's going to be a submit button and now let me just style it so it looks pretty. So it's gonna be button, and I'll just make it a default button. In other words, the default colors. And on the button, I'll just have it say search. Now we're getting a little issue that says, hey, you need a label or a title, but we aren't worried about that right now. And now we just need to have, let me verify that that works. All right, so now we just need to have those buttons off to the right. And we can copy and paste like 99% of this, so it's gonna be easy. So, right, nav, nav bar nav. And one other class we need to add in order to make sure that these get displayed on the right hand side of the navigation bar is nav bar right. All right, so now inside here we just add items like usual. So the first thing I wanna add is, I forgot what it was even, add, add album, I think. I think it was add album and logout I had. And logout. All right, so for add album, the icon for this, I just use plus, which is just a plus sign. And for logout, I actually just write an off, which is basically like a power button. So let me refresh this and check it out. All right, so we have, uh, well, we need to make this cursive and I'll do that in just a second, but we have this button, which is active, and you always want one button active at a time, and that's just an indicator for the user to know, hey, I'm on this section. Songs, we have our form, add album and log out, and just to verify, whenever we minimize this, look what happens. It turns into an hamburger icon, and if I click this, all of my items appear. And we may want to hide this search button and just make it so whenever the user hits enter, it searches. But 
not really worried about that right now, to be honest. So a couple things I wanna do just to put some final touches on this. This Viber logo, I actually wanna make cursive, and we already imported the font for that from Google. And I don't know if you guys can see it, but the default of this navigation bar is to have slightly curved edges. And I think it looks really stupid. So again, they're only curved by like a three pixel border radius, but I just wanna make sure it's completely flat. So I'll show you guys how to override those. Now it's important to note, this right here is the default bootstrap style. Now what we wanna do is we wanna make some tweaks. So whenever we include our CSS file, we need to put it after it. If we put the bootstrap file after this line right here, then all of the bootstrap code would overwrite our styles. So again, what you always want to do is you want to import this first and then whenever you want to make a tweak, you put it under it. So now we can go into our static styles.css. All right, so for the nav bar, I just want to set the border radius to zero and that's gonna make it square edges instead of uh, curvy ones. And now for the logo, which is the navbar brand, what I'm gonna do here is just change the font family. Now, knocked over my mouse. I have a big vertical mouse. If you don't know what that is, Google it. It's for, I was starting to have like carpal tunnel symptoms, but uh, yeah, so I have a big honkin' tonkin' mouse. <laughs> it's it's kind of weird to use, but I just knocked it over. All right. So the font family for this is just satisfy, and then we need a backup one, so we'll just write cursive. So if for some reason the user can't load satisfy, then we'll just give them cursive by default. So hopefully everything looks good to go. And now, nice mate. So I got nice square borders around my entire nav bar, and look at that, Viber in, what was that? Satisfy font, whatever it is, it's beautiful. So there you go, that's the basics of our navigation bar. We're now ready to move on.